10-day sales event starts today, reads the advertisement. But it's not linens or cars being marked down, it's homes. Coldwell Banker, one of the biggest real estate brokerage firms in the U.S., has asked its sellers to reduce their listing price by up to 10 percent. Jim Gillespie is CEO of Coldwell Banker. Our 103,000 sales associates are going to all of the, of the sellers, uh, all of our listings, and uh, showing them what the comps are from most recent sales. Many times the listings have been on 60 or 90 days or even longer, so the market may have changed or may have adjusted since then. Coldwell Banker says 25,000 sellers, or about 15 percent of its customers, are taking part in the sale. In regional tests, about 10 percent of reduced properties sold, and 85 percent of the sellers kept their homes at the newly reduced price, even if they were unable to sell. It's just not a great time to put a house on the market. U.S. home prices have already fallen more than 20 percent over the past two years, according to the Standard & Poor's Case-Shiller Index. And yet, despite interest rates at near historic lows, many buyers are still waiting to see if home prices will drop further. But realtors hope that new government incentives for first-time home buyers and injections of cash from the $700 billion rescue plan will jumpstart property sales. Coldwell's CEO says he certainly isn't asking owners to underprice their homes. We're not asking anybody to discount and to sell their home below the value. We're asking them to get realistic about their, their list price, and that's why 15 percent and not 100 percent have jumped on this. And on Friday, a glimmer of hope for those homeowners who have taken Coldwell's challenge and still can't sell. An article by former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan says he believes the U.S. housing market will begin to recover in the first half of 2009. Manu Samarodi, Reuters, New York.